What's up guys it's time to look beyond the Galaxy Note 20 family, Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Exynos 990 and Snapdragon 865 Plus. Benchmarks offers no surprises. The benchmark also confirms that the Korean Galaxy Note 20 Ultra has a Snapdragon SoC. The Exynos vs Snapdragon debate shows no signs of abetting anytime soon, and the Exynos 990 that powers the Galaxy S20 series in most market is inferior to Snapdragon 865, Samsung used in the markets like US China and its home country. For the Galaxy Note 20 and Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, Samsung has decided to keep the same Exynos chips, while upgrading the Snapdragon 865 to Snapdragon 865 Plus, and according to new reporting Exynos 990-powered Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, bearing model number SM and 986B got exposed in the benchmark listing earlier, and hours later the South Korean version of the same device carrying the model number SM986N, has turned up the Geekbench as well. The most recent entry confirms the previous report about the Samsung creating the South Korean Galaxy Note 20 series same as it did with the Galaxy S20. In other words customers in South Korea will get the Snapdragon Power variant instead of the Exynos 99 chipset. Samsung is looking the pause for the humiliation fell by the system is division, when the company decided to fit the Galaxy S20 series with the Qualcomm chipset over the in-house Exynos solution in its home country. The company is seemingly maintaining the same path as stepped on earlier this year, and the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra in South Korea will be powered by Snapdragon 865 Plus chipset as a result. No surprise there is a difference in the synthetic benchmark performance. As we know before the synthetic benchmark score doesn't tell us the whole story or reflect real-world performance with the perfect accuracy, but the benchmark result at hand are unsurprisingly to say the least. The Snapdragon 865 Plus Galaxy Note 20 Ultra performs better than the Exynos 990 variant. In the gig page 5 inches both the single core and especially the multi-core test, and if we compare both the benchmarks side by side, you will notice that the Snapdragon 865 Plus Galaxy Note 20 variant is coming with the 984 single core score, whereas Exynos 990 variant is coming with a score of 928 inches single cores. Here you will see that there is a small difference between both of these Exynos and the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor in the single core department. When moving towards the multi core department, you will notice that the Snapdragon Dragon 865 Plus is coming with a 3216 of a benchmark score in the multi-core department, whereas the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra with Exynos variant is coming with a multi-core score of 2721. So clearly in multi-core department the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor is way ahead than the Xenos 990 processor, and if benchmark figures on good enough clue that Exynos 990. Galaxy Note 20 models are likely to be lagging behind the Snapdragon 865 Plus variant. The fact that Samsung opted for the Snapdragon-powered S Pen flagship in its home country speaks the volume. Perhaps the room and optimization do exist, and the Exynos 990's SoC inside the Galaxy Note 20 will run cooler and perform better than it does under the hood of the Galaxy S20. But even so Samsung does not seem to have much confidence in its own chipset. If it will replace it with the Qualcomm solution in its home country of all the places. We know that the Galaxy Note 20 series is going to be unveiled in just five days at Samsung Virtual Unpacked event, and will be accompanied by Galaxy Z Fold 2 Galaxy Tab S7 Galaxy Tab S7 Plus Galaxy Watch 3 and Galaxy Birds Life. Hopefully the Korean giant will have a good explanation why they are using the Exynos 990, which is inferior to Snapdragon 865 Plus processor in different markets, so guys I believe that everyone is looking towards the Snapdragon 865 Plus processor devices in the Galaxy Note 20 series, and maybe those devices which are powering with the Exynos 990 may not sell very well in all those market where the Exynos variant is launching, so guys what are your opinions? Opinions regarding the Galaxy Note 20 Ultra, what do you think about and what are your decision? And you want to buy the Exynos 990 processor inside your Galaxy Note 20 Ultra? Let me know your thoughts in the comment section below and also please do consider subscribing my channel. 
Thanks for watching the video if you liked it smash a thumbs up if you didn't hit the thumbs down twice, and don't forget to subscribe this channel, and I am Arjun this is Digital Outside I'll catch you in the next one.